Hello, my name is Boliverto and I will teach you how to make your own custom CCS chat for your stream. So, as you can see, when I type over here, I don't have any image in the back background yet, but I'm gonna I am going to show you how to change the image, the animation and the fonts that you want to use for your own stream. So the first thing you want to do is going to your dashboard at the Streamlabs, going to all widgets, chat box, and here is the chat. As you can see, where well, if you were, if you are at the Potato Battalion, this is the chat I made for Zion Fox. So, but so well, this is the one. But I am going to show you how to make your own, your own animation, your own GIF over here your own border and everything so let's see well let me first reset this code reset reset this is the basic one this is the the one you have right now and all you will do is to copy and paste the code i will be providing the code is going to be at my discord server well, as you can see, this is the custom code. I do not own this code. It's, it was an open source project. And I just documented the barrel and edited a few lines of code. But I think it's going to be more easier for people who doesn't know how to read code. So this is the two fonts web pages I recommend you to use. Google Fonts and onlinewebfonts.com. So, First, let's test with Pushter. You just click over here. Put, oh well, here, select this style. Go over here. Put here on import. And you just want to copy this. Control C, go to your code. Control V. And remove this. Oh no. And you have right now this Google font already in your code. Well, now let's test with the online web fonts. Google fonts, you have the more normal ones, and here on online web fonts, you have the most experimental ones. So let's try. Let's see. Let's try this. Let's let screw Bado. <laughs> you go over here. You copy this. Control C. And let's put it over here. Control V. And you always want to space this. So let's put this over here. This like this. Another one and another one. And make sure to to delete this, <laughs> delete this, and put this over here. And there you go. As you can see, this is the this is the one who selected here and here. So you have to put over each link the H HTTPS. So you just just copy this. Uh, I forget to do this one, and you paste it over here, over here, over here, and here. Well, now let's change the text color. So. It's over here. This is the things I documented. Pink text color in color. <laughs> so you just go over here. This is why I recommend using Visual Code Studio. Then you just go over here and use this. Let's put it um, blue. Ah, uh, yeah, this is fine. All right. So the next thing I added is was this animation and duration. 
So I imported the animations from animate.style and this link is very important you make sure it's on the HTML code. You have to two files the CCS and the HTML. So let's see. Mm. The animations. Let's see the animations. So now in animate.style you can choose your animation. For this tutorial I will choose mm, Fade in up big. Yeah, this look nice. And fade up no fade out of big. As you can see, the complete animation. Well let's copy let's copy this to our code. So um you can't use this copy to class name because it will add the animate. You just want to use this fade up big. So let's use this. Go to your code and let's add it over here. Here fade up big. Now let's the let's add the other one. It was over here. Fade up big. Alright. Copy over here, paste it. Just copy this. The code again. And here. Alright. So well as you can see, this is the animation. This is the timer of the animation. And this is the timer of how much is going to wait to delete it itself. So let's put here one, one whole second sounds nice. Oh that's point one. One second. There you go. And here another second. And after 15 seconds it will go out of the chat. Now let's continue right to the username. The username is the people of your chat. All, all your fans, you know? So let's put the poster one that we just added. So here in Fun Family, you change it. There you go. You can add here the either, either one of the online web fonts or the Google fonts. So here I I commented this out of the code. Um, you can put here if you don't want to each one have their own custom color. You can put an image over here, so everyone in the chat will look at the same. Or you can put a color one. So let's continue. You can change here the font size and the font weight. You can put here bold, italic, or just numbers. And this is another thing I added to the code, the text shadow. This one is very important if you're going to use images because sometimes you put um, it has some white in your image or it has if it's the same color the image and your text are somewhat the same you add text shadow and you can read it so let's and well that's all from username well now let's change the settings of user message everyone was asking me how do you change the gif on your chat the container where everyone fits their messages. <laughs> so, well, as you can see, I documented this. Um, and this is where you want to put the URL of the image. This is very important because Twitch doesn't allow you to, to upload things to your chat. You have to get it from someone else. So, Let's do this and this. And very important, if you're going to use the image, you have to put here the background size cover because if the message is too large, it's just going to repeat the image each time. And you don't want that. You want to be able to cover all the message. So let's delete this, delete this. 
and let's make the go to look nice again okay so let's well in this case i'm going to use this this gif i'm sorry i have my google in the spanish but you just want to open the gif in a in a new window so you go over here grab this Control c and Control ub over here and let's continue this is a well background this is if you don't want any image in your chat box but i i really think it looks better with the image or a gif and this one is very important some of you will already have uh, some sort of overlay and if you just put the chat over here if the message is too large it's going to how do, how do i put it overflow is this the word well it's going to be too big to your too big for your overlay so in my case i will when in my chat overlay i have to put it to three pixels but you can change this number everything you want so let's continue i don't recommend to you to change in this the box shadow and this it's you can change it but it already look nice <laughs> and this is important to the border so let's let me let me click it. let's change the color of the border let's put pink one so you can see it here and here all right so now the font family let's put here the only web font the one who here over here so let's let's edit this let's here now it's only a little scribado let's control c where one it was here control v okay you can here or again change the font size i want the main look in bolder so it looks more shows more sorry um here here all right so now let's test this in our chat okay so let's copy this all this code Control c over here and control uv and let's use this html code too um, as you can see i imported here the animations and i will give these codes to you too guys don't worry so here hangers <laughs> sorry about that um html over here save settings and it has to be working now ha huh, where is my gif oh yeah sorry sorry um it was right here as you can see this is this is commented out but i have it over here too so let's just delete this do this, this, and let's try again. Um, mm -hmm. You said it. And now it has to be working. There you go. You can see there's my GIF here. If someone wants to put more text, it can go, it can go pass over here. So, well, I will be showing, yeah, yeah, instead of imagining it, I will be just showing it to you. Alright, so let's test it right now. Um, I will put the video capture of my Twitch chat, so you guys can think I'm making this up. So, let's test it. Test A, E. And as you can see, so the measures appear and how are going to disappear in 15 seconds it's supposed 
there you go. <laughs> and now I will show you what happens if you delete the width, the width code part. Alright, this is how this looks with the deleted part of the width code in user message. So, let's test it. And there you go. And as you can see, when the message is larger, the container box is too. So let's put a lot of A's. And there you go. Oh, I have here my... Sorry about that. There, you can see it more. Well, as you can see, it, it no longer scan... Well, it isn't in your chat box anymore, if you have one. But you can put it over here and it looks nice too. Let's... Put overlay. There you go. Something like this. And let's... Here and here. And this looks nice too, as you can see. And... Well, I hope you like this tutorial, guys. I hope you can you can use this and you could bear my English. <laughs> bear. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> bear puns. Ham. Well, thank you for watching and especially thank you for the VTuber community and especially to the Potato Battalion. It's always, it has always been fun. Uh, your Discord message, guys. Well, if anyone needs help, you can enter to my Discord. I will link the original code in the comments of YouTube, and I will put the edited code in my Discord server. Why am I doing this? Because I... If you guys need help, I will be responding more in Discord than YouTube. Well, and that's it guys. Happy holidays. Thank you for watching.